All right, so now it's time for the last section of chapter 10 that the calculator is helpful with. And that is um, 10.4, I believe, um, testing upper population proportion. So here I have this um, jury panel thing um, trying to prove that juries were rigged. The hypotheses are, look, we originally think that the jury isn't rigged, right? That would mean that the proportion was equal to 0.50 percent of African Americans that were in the county. Um, go read the problem for your own benefit. But if the jury is rigged against the defendant, that would be significantly less than 0 0.50, right? See, 50% of the people in this county are African American. That means 50% of the people on the jury pool should be African American. But only 5% were African American. So we're going to have to see how that works out. So we're going to test it. Now, I didn't give you an alpha in this case. Um, there's a reason for that, and you're about to see it, but that's okay. I'm going to set alpha to be 0 0.001. I mean, why not? This is a murder trial, say. I mean, I really want to make certain this person is guilty, okay, or not guilty. I'm not letting innocent people go to jail, and I'm not letting guilty people go free, right? All right, step three, let's find the test statistic. Well, we can do this with the calculator. Um, of course, if you're doing it within the class, you're going to have to show the formula and all that, but let me just get the calculator to help me out. So go to stat, go to tests, pick number five. See number five? one prop z test. We're doing a z test because we actually do know sigma for these problems. It's calculated from a formula. It's that big huge square root formula you learned in chapter 8. Um, so we're going to pick number 5. Data is never an option here. You're always typing stuff in. In general, by the way, if you're a student and you're wondering, oh, what kind of question is this? If it looks like you weren't given enough information, like they never told you what standard deviation was, or you see percentages flying around, that's one of these guys. That's a one prop z test. All right, now what's P0? P0 was 0.5, right? We assume that these jury's pools were fair unless we can prove it otherwise. X, now this is the tricky part. X has to be a whole number, okay? I only know P hat right here, see it? Let me show you it to you. P hat, which is my sample proportion, oopsie, come here little hat, there he is, is equal to 0 0.05, that's X, over n. But I know the jury pool was out of 80 total. So all I have to do is figure out how many people makes it so that, right, eight out of 80, that makes it 5%. Okay? The way to do that is to multiply 80 times 0 0.05. That would be your x. Okay? You multiply, say, 80 people, 5% of 80, right, 80 times 0 0.05 is actually 4 people. So I have to go calculate that, right? The calculator doesn't know that. I have to tell it 4. I cannot tell it 0 0.05. If I try to type 5% in, it will give me an error, okay? N is how many people were in the pool, which was 80. And this was a left-tailed test because we think it was rigged against the defendant. And then we go down to calculate, and we press Enter. And look at that. Okay, so just catch that. This test statistic is negative 8 0.04 uh, here, negative 0.805. That's your test statistic. This data, this 5%, was eight standard deviations away from the mean. Oh, we're going to be rejecting, right? So let's see why. Okay, the p-value, as far as the calculator is concerned, is zero. Now, is it really zero? No, but it's really, 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 really close. Okay, it's probably something like point oh 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 one. Okay, that is less than point oh oh one that I picked. Therefore, which was alpha, so we reject H naught. That's the p-value method. If you want to do the classical method, you have to get your critical value, which would be inverse norm point oh oh one, which is the one I set up. It's a left-tailed test, so it's fine to do that one. If it was right-tailed, you would have done 0.999. Okay, so the critical value is negative 3.09. Since your test statistic, your real data was 8 standard deviations away, and you were saying, look, I'll take up to 3 standard deviations away, but anything past that, no, you're rigging this. That's what we've just shown, right? We're rejecting H0. We're rejecting that this was a fair jury and now we need to go retry the defendant. Alright, I hope you've enjoyed these tutorials. Let me know if you need anything else. Bye-bye.